don't have uh, an invitation to meet them. Ordinarily, they will ask to meet us. If they come to us, they will tell us how they want us to assist them in their work. But whatever they want from us is in their own consultation documents. But I'll ask them to open their eyes on arrears. The arrears of Ghana is in excess of 30 billion. But they will come and say arrears clearance, 1.3. In the, in, the, in the Article 4 uh, consultation, when they ask them for the arrears, they say, oh, the arrears have not been audited. Since when did we audit arrears before we report them? Arrears is about a cut-off point. But because they have reported 8 billion, 8 billion, now they have to report over 30 billion. IMF, open your eyes there. COVID, open your eyes. Review all their documents, their budget statement, and what they review. Open your eyes. That's where the meat is. COVID. Three. IMF, if it's possible, go and sit at Bank of Ghana and check how much they have given to governments. The previous program that we had, we improved the inflation targeting framework by reining in what we call fiscal dominance over monetary policy. What that meant was that we didn't want a situation where the central bank was financing the national budget. And that is why we signed an MOU to observe the zero financing requirement. All of that was meant to curb inflation and to ensure that inflation expectations are anchored. In other words, it is easier to predict inflation. Today, Inflation expectations are gone. Today, there is a return with impunity, fiscal dominance over monetary policy. Illegally. When the Bank of Ghana itself is the one that signed the MOU that said we will not finance government. So there are interesting days ahead. It will take months. We probably could end the year without an IMF program. Thank you.